everyone, Tim here from Flavor Blaster with a brand new episode of Tim's Tips. This week we are unboxing and setting up a brand new Flavor Blaster. So let's get into it. So the following video is a step-by-step -step guide for you to follow when you buy your brand new, wonderful, beautiful Flavor Blaster Pro 2 starter kit. Or indeed, if you already have one, but just require a little bit of extra training material. So let's begin. Step one, open your Flavor Blaster Pro 2 starter kit box. Inside you will find one user manual, which we recommend you read in addition to watching this video. One Flavor Blaster Pro 2 body, one Bubble X dish, and an accessories pack, which contains one bottle of Bubble X liquid, one USB charging cable, five spare coils, one reusable aroma tank with a spare glass casing. And finally, we have one aroma pack containing five of our most popular aromas, citrus, mixed berries, neutral, rosemary, and smoke. Step two, charge your flavor blaster. Simply plug the provided micro USB into the charging port and connect the other end to a main socket. We recommend only using the charging cable provided. It will take around eight hours to charge fully, which gives the flavor blaster eight hours of usage time. After charging, ensure that the rubber seal covering the charging port is firmly closed and that water never enters the port. Step 3. Now it's time to fill the aroma tank with your chosen aroma liquid. Start by disassembling the aroma tank, bit by bit to reveal the base and coil. Double check that the coil is on tight and then prime the coil by pouring a few drops of the aroma liquid onto the three exposed strips of cotton. Reassemble the tank by adding the glass casing and the first screw top lid. And now we can fill the aroma tank by pouring the aroma liquid into the side slots. Never pour anything down the central hole, as this will ruin the coil and the flavor blaster will not emit any aroma. Always ensure that the tank is at least half full to avoid burning out the coil. And remember that the coil will need to be replaced on average every four weeks. And finally, screw on the second lid. Step four, insert the aroma tank into the flavor blaster. First, turn the flavor blaster on by pressing the trigger three times, then insert the aroma tank, listening for the click, and look out for the green flashing lights on the side of the flavor blaster. This means that the aroma tank has successfully been detected. Test by holding the trigger, and then add the nozzle. Step five, prepare some Bubble X liquid. This is the all-important liquid that forms a bubble around the aromatic smoke. Gently mix the bubble X for five seconds before use to ensure that the components in the mixture are fully combined. Then pour a small amount into the gold bubble X dish, just enough to cover the tip of the flavor blaster nozzle. Step six, now it's time to create your first bubble. Dip the flavor blaster nozzle into the bubble X liquid. Hold the nozzle close to the surface of the cocktail. Hold the trigger. Move the flavor blaster away from the cocktail as the bubble expands and then release the trigger. Please remember that the bubble does work best on low ABV cocktails that are served up with a good wash line in glassware that gets wider at the rim. The bubble does also benefit from being applied to wet glassware. This can be achieved by spraying the cocktail with water or simply by chilling the glassware in a fridge, freezer or with ice beforehand. Another feature of the Flavor Blaster Pro 2 is that you can turn the aroma function off in order to create clear bubbles. Press the trigger twice and look out for the white flashing lights on the side before dipping the nozzle into the bubble X. To return the Flavor Blaster back to its standard function, simply press the trigger twice again. Step seven, clean and maintain the Flavor Blaster after use. To ensure that your Flavor Blaster is always in tip-top condition, 
Clean the Flavor Blaster nozzle with a wet or dry cloth. Then clean the underside of the aroma tank and the inside of the Flavor Blaster nozzle using a dry cloth, being careful not to damage the metal pins inside of the nozzle. Pour any remaining Bubble X liquid back into the bottle and clean and dry the Bubble X dish. And always store the aroma tank outside of the Flavor Blaster when not in use. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I hope this has helped. And remember, if you forget anything I've said, you do have a user manual, everything's in there. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any video requests of your own, comment in the section below and I'll see you next time.